Hi, I'm Dr. Jackson Crawford. I'm going to continue today with my reading of Grimnismol, the uh, poem in the Poetic Edda in which Odin, disguised as Grimnir, visits the court of King Gerther and speaks many secrets about different worlds. See my first video in this series for some introductory comments about Grimnismol. And if you're into this kind of thing, check out the uh, stanza by stanza coverage of Halvmal and Volspa that I've already done. Since the previous video of Grimness Mall covered the prose prologue and then stanzas one through five, I'm going to begin this one with stanza six. Bur er so in thridi, er blith regin, silvri thokthu sali, valaskjolv hetir er veltiser, os i ordaga. Farm or habitation is that one the third, which happy gods believe, being cognate with English blithe, happy gods believe the Regan, uh, thatched, roofed, thokthu, past plural from thekia to put a roof on, uh, the halls with silver. So there's a third hall following the first and second one that he's mentioned before, thatched with silver. It is called Valaskjol, Hetir Valaskjol which a god, os, singular of Asir, probably referring to Odin himself here, made for himself, ser, veltiser, vela, which is the verb being used here, is typically, uh, it's related to English while, as in w-i-l-e, so do cunningly, but in this case just made or built, made for himself in early days, e ordaga a word often used for ancient times in the poems of the Portugueta, including Volospa too. We see it in the earliest stanzas there. Stanza 7. Sukva becker hetir in fjordi en thar svalar knegu unir yfir glimja. Thar thou odin oxoga dreka um aladaga glod ur gulnum kerum. So Sukva becker the sink bench or bank is named the fourth, and there cool waves, svalar unir, a common phrase in Norse poetry, can crash over. The kanegu is probably kind of a unnecessary word there just to fill out the meter. There they, including Odin and Soga, an otherwise unknown goddess, drink through all days, dreka um aladaga, glad, out of golden cups, gulnum kerum. Stanza 8. Gladsheimer hetir in fimti, thars in gulbjarta valhol vid of thrumir, en thar hoptur kus hwerian dag, vopen dauda vera. So Gladsheimer, home of glad, is named the fifth, where thar s, uh, s being abbreviated to s, that is the earlier form of er, the word for either is or for who, which, that, uh, where the gold bright valhol stands wide, thrumer viv. And there, Profter, a name of Odin, chooses every day, kus dag, weapon dead men, vopen dauda vera. That word for man, ver, is a very old Indo-European word for man. Uh, you might look at vera and be misled into thinking that's the verb to be, but this is the accusative plural of ver, man, which of course is cognate with the Latin uh, root of English words like virile, and of course it's still there in an English word uh, like werewolf, man-wolf, as well as in the name of the world, verold the Man Age. Now in uh, the Codex Regius, which is what I'm basing my readings on, uh, the next stanza that I'm going to treat as stanza 9 is actually treated as stanza 10 in um, AM 748 1 quarto, the other manuscript that has Grim and Small. And so a lot of translations uh, reverse the order of these, but I'm just going to read them in the uh, Codex Regius order. So stanza 9. Mjok er auth kent themer til Odin's coma, salkuni at sjo. Varger hangir fyr vestandur og drupir orn uvir. 
Much is, and this is a ninth stanza, so I'll read it word by word. Kind of do that, doing that anyway. Much is easily known for that one who to Odin uh, may come, or for those who to Odin may come. Uh, hall visit to see. So it's easy to recognize uh, those who come uh, on a visit to Odin. A wolf, Varger, this is a negative word for wolf as opposed to ulver, which can be negative or neutral, hangs west of doors, Hörvest an dyr, and an eagle uh, hangs over, droops over. Sansa 10. Mjok er auðkent þeim er til óðins koma salkuni at sjó, same uh, first half. Skoftum er ran rept, skjoldum er salar thakidur, brynjum um beki strot. So that last half, with spear shafts, I say with because this is dative, is the house ran, that is the same word that's in English, for instance, ransack from Old Norse ransaka, search a house. So with um, with spear shafts is the hall, the house, um, supported, stood, these are the pillars of the house. With shields is the hall thatched, i.e. roofed, thakidur, and with chainmail shirts, uh, the benches are strewn, they are strawed. So typically, if you want a bench to be comfortable, you put straw or hay on it. But in this case, in this hyper martial environment, uh, chainmail is what's put onto the benches to sit on. Stanza 11. Thrum hamer hetir in seti er thiatsi bio, so in o motki jotu. En nu skadi bugvir skir bruder goda, fornar toftir fodr. So Thrum hamer is named the sixth where Thiazzi lived, dwelled, and past tense, that the very mighty giant. In Old Norse you could say that the, you don't have to just choose one like in English. And now Skadi dwells there, Bigvir, that bright bride of God, Skir Bruder Goda. She dwells in the old uh, turfs, Toftir of her father, father being genitive singular of father, father. Sansa 12. Breda blik eru in siondu en thar baldr hevir ser um gerva salli. O thvi landi er ek ligja veit fasta fekenstavi. So breda blik, broad views, are the seventh, and there Baldr has for himself ser made halls, gerva sali. Again, we saw this in the previous video. Gerva is accusative plural masculine, agreeing with sali rather than just being neuter, nominative accusative singular like it would be in later Old Norse or modern Icelandic. At that land, on that land, in that land, Othvilandi, where I know to lie, to be present, Ligia, the fewest fasta fakenstavi, so bad fate staves, so curses, or perhaps runes of ill import. Sansa 13. Himimbjörg eru in otu, en thar heimdal kveða valdaveu. Thar vordr goða drekr i veru rani gladr in goða mjóð. Himimbjörg, so heaven hills, heaven cliffs, Heaven rocks are the eighth, and there they say, Kveda, that Heimdall, accused of singular because they're saying uh, him, and then we have a, a infinitive of what he's doing. They say Heimdall rules Valda, the holy places, Veu. Valda takes a dative just like Rolda to rule. There, the guardian of the gods, Vordr Goda, drinks in the uh, in the good house, Ivaru Rani, again that word Ran for house, glad, he is glad, the good mead, in Goda Mjod. Stanza 14. Folkvanger er in niundi 
and thar froya rather sessa costum i sal holvan val hun kus ferian dag and holvan uthen o so folkvanger that would mean army plane is the ninth and their Freya rules the choice of seats in the hall. So again, rather from Roda, that takes a dative plural verbs of ruling typically does. So she rules the choice of the seats here in this hall. She decides who sits where. She chooses Hon Kus, half the dead men in battle, Hol van Val, every day, Huerian dog, and Othen owns half, Othen o Holvan. Now, this does not necessarily say that Folkvanger is a different place from Valhol, nor that, uh, even if it is, that the half of the dead in battle that Freya chooses go there instead of to Valhol. But of course, Snorri took it that way in writing the Prose Edda, and so a lot of people have taken it that way today, but this is the only hint we have that Folkvanger is an alternative afterlife to Valhol, and that not everybody who dies in battle goes to Valhol. Remember that the different poems of the Portica are not necessarily related to each other and can contradict each other. Stanza 15. Glitnir er in tiundi, han er guli studder, ok silvri thaktor it sama, en thar forseti bigger flestan dag, ok svevir alar sakir. So glitnir, something to do with the same root as in English glitter, like a shining, glimmering root is the tenth, he, the hall being masculine as a he, is studded with gold, studder guli, and thatched, roofed with silver, thakthur, silvery, the same. And there, Forseti, said to be a son of Baldr by Snorri, dwells most of the day, or most every day, flestandag, and puts to sleep, svavir, alar, sakir, all cases all matters of dispute between men. Sansa 16. Noa tun eru in eliftu, and thar njordr hevir serum gorba sali. Mana tengl in mens vani, ho timbrudum horgi rather. So no tun are the eleventh. Tun meaning uh, plain designated flat place where you'd put a house or a farm or something. Of course, this is the same uh, word that becomes English town. And there Njorther has made for himself halls. We've seen this uh, this this exact phrasing before, for instance in 12, talking about Baldur. Lord of men, Thengil Mana, he is without, he is the one empty of faults. Uh, the Vani, the empty of fault, of, of main, which is fault or, or bad things. He rules, rather, the high-timbered altar, horger, meaning altar or cairn where uh, sacrifices, offerings are made. All right, folks, well, thanks for dealing with a pretty windy uh, <laughs> setup here today while I've uh, continued the Grimness Mall reading series. Uh, keeping this update schedule can sometimes be a little bit difficult, so I had to make a video uh, when I could to get it out for you. I hope uh, this has continued to be an interesting series for you, and I thank you for your Patreon support. And from beautiful Colorado, I'm wishing you all the best.